And now that I've been terminated, it's only a matter of time before they send you after me. So I'm taking matters into my own hands. Believe me, it's either you or me. Ooh. It's a different OS vibe. Secretarial position, what the hell? None. Not at all. What's a computer? You gotta go to school? Yes. <laughs> if I get a job based off that, there's no hope for mankind. Industries, can I help you? You must be one of the candidates that Imogene Salzo is interviewing today. Her office is down the hallway to my left. Take another left at the conference room, follow it around to the right and up a small flight of stairs. Then take a left and keep heading that way until you see her office. Sounds like a maze, right? So if you want me to walk you back there or have any questions, just let me know. No, I'm good. Great. Well, good luck then. I'm sure I'll see you on your way out. I don't know, you guys. They want me to be a secretary. I'd hate to be this old Oof. I hope you're more suspect that if I were confined to life in an Have office like this, and someone would end up being stabbed. Wait outside. I'm sure they understand. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys hear me, Dresden? I don't disagree with her. Don't tell me you're intimidated by a little office chair. Oh, you want me to sit? Seriously? You call that a chair? Okay. All right. Just to get a few things straight here. I'm Imogen Salzo, Senior Operations Specialist here at Ryujin Industries. I don't normally do this, but my counterpart, Yuko, is indisposed at the moment. So, here I am. We're looking for someone to fill an entry-level administrative position. Apparently, our algorithm has failed us and believes you to be a decent match. Which I'll take up with our technicians later. So, let's get this over with. Why do you want to work for Ryujin Industries? I'll be sure to let our marketing team know their phrases are catching on. But I hope that's your sense of humor showing. Not to say we don't have our share of self-important attitudes here. In fact, you'd fit right in where some are concerned. But, moving on, this next one should be interesting, considering you marked having zero experience and no education. Why do you consider yourself qualified for a job like this? And judging from your application, I take it that's why you applied. Not that I'm going to argue since I feel the same. So, next question. How motivated are you to succeed? One of my employees told me this during their review this year. <laughs> I asked him, what did you do <laughs> to merit such a response? <laughs> All in, huh? At least that's an attitude we can work with here. And finally, my last question. If you worked here for five years, what role would you see yourself in? Baby, I'd be your boss. Oh, hell yeah. That's a lofty goal, and one I'd love to see you accomplish, but... We'll soon be the judge of that. So look, since there's a million other things I'd rather be doing than this, not to mention that this isn't even my job, you're hired. 
On a probationary period, of course. Especially considering this criminal record of yours. Yeah. First order. There's a meeting starting soon, and I need you to pick up the coffee order at Terra Brew. Fairly easy, so you shouldn't be able to screw it up. If there's a line, skip it. Tell them you're here for Imogene Salzo, and you should get served right away. Wow. Step on everyone else, huh? Imogene and Yuko run a tight ship around here. I hate being stuck in the office. Hello, the little robots. All right, so we're getting coffee. I legit really thought we'd be sitting at a computer reading messages, but I've got high hopes. So just legit. Thanks for choosing Terabrew. What can I? Oh, the Ryujin order. You must be new. What happened to Tomo? Did he finally get that? I got fired. Is what happened. Oh shit! There he is. <laughs> and this is the soulless suit they got to replace me. Tomo, I'm sorry. I know how hard you were working for that promotion. Four years behind a desk, getting coffee, kissing up to that high and mighty Ularu Chen, just to get replaced by this nobody. This guy's gonna go postal. Hearing that ad should have been the first sign they were going to get rid of me. I bet Ularu was just waiting for the moment to hire you. And now that I've been terminated, it's only a matter of time before they send you after me. So I'm taking matters into my own hands. Should do oh, I become the assassin? It's either you or me. I believe you have grossly misunderstood the situation. If you put the gun down, perhaps we can come to an understanding. She's not even in the room. <laughs> Okay, this is interesting. You want to talk? <laughs> I'll tell you what. You get one chance to prove you deserve this job. Change my mind, and I'll walk away. Fail? <laughs> and I think you know where this is headed. Hmm. No, no, I, I have to do this. You don't understand. Give me a second to think, will you? Look, at some point, Ular really will send you after me. Just, just promise me you'll remember this, that, that uh, when I came after you, I gave you the chance to talk me down. If you talk me down, then we're golden. Right? Let's just say Ryujin doesn't like loose ends. Chen fired me, and now she's going to see me as a liability. And that's why it's just a matter of time before our paths cross again. Okay? And when they do, I'm just hoping you'll listen to me like I listen to you. You're either one of the few good people in Neon, or you already know a thing or two about leverage. Just don't make me regret this. Okay, this this got interesting. What am I going to become the uh, company cleaner? Hey, no worries like on anyone calling Ooh. security here. Take it from me, Ryujin will handle any drama that may come from this. You'll want to be sure to report it to them. Oh, really? Ryujin has connections everywhere. Even Benjamin Bayou. You know, the very man that runs Neon. They're practically untouchable around here. Just getting in with them, you're setting yourself up for life. Well, provided you don't get fired first, of course. <laughs> Tomo had been Ryujin's errand boy for some time now. Lots of ambition. Dying to get up that food chain, if you know what I mean. He always seemed really nice, so a stunt like that? I never saw it coming. Okay. Yes, of course. Here it is. Oh, and please let Mr. Cho know that we did have the recommended maintenance done. I triple checked the grind myself, and a mistake like that will never happen again. Okay. Now I'm her errand person. 
Well, this definitely got interesting. My hopes for this went even higher. I hope that coffee is still hot considering the time it took you to get it. You either need to learn this city or how to deal with distractions. So, what was the holdup? Oof. I bet she already knows. Good answer. And the one I was hoping for since we learned of the incident before your return. Your handling of the Tomo situation has caught some attention, and we'd like to try you out in a different role at the company. And since Yuko isn't here to object, your new position starts right now. So, congratulations. You've been promoted. Not bad for your first day, right? To what? You were right to talk the situation through, rather than letting it escalate. Where did I get promoted to? Well, they do say it's healthy to have goals. So who am I to crush that with reality? I'm promoting you to junior operative. The position is a bit more complicated and completely confidential. Your main duty is to add influence when necessary to ensure success of the business. Any questions so far? Like any good corporation, we consider what we do here to be a trade secret. If others knew and could mimic our actions, it would take away our edge. In any case where a threat to success is established, one of us is sent out to create a more desired outcome. Dang. This may be through a conversation or presenting some new information. It's all very situational, as you'll soon see. Well, it depends on the job, really. If someone can't be persuaded with words, perhaps a more forceful approach is necessary. You're basically removing obstacles from the equation. Really? Well, this transition may be easier than I thought. Now, let's get that coffee delivered. I'll gladly take mine. And since Yuko's still a no-show, feel free to keep hers. Ooh, the other recipients coffee. are eagerly waiting for you in the conference room. My day is suddenly much improved. How about that? <laughs> that was totally random. <laughs> oh. I have to talk to these guys. Ah, coffee. You'd think we'd want to support our own subsidiary and get tranquility more often, but Terra Brew it is. Yes, the profit margins are vastly different at this point in time. It's more the principle of the matter. Tea talk aside, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lyndon Calderi, Chief Financial Officer. I'll be the one deducting expenses from your pay every time you manage to screw up. Which, hopefully, won't be often. We'll see. We've yet to have an operative with a perfect record. This introduction was... not annoying. I hope our future encounters are as productive. Is he Vulcan or something? Very emotionless. Kind of cute. Ah, just what I needed. Imogene said she hired someone new. I'm Genevieve, head of marketing and public relations. Likewise. Anyway, it's good to put a face to the new operative. The only question now is how much work are you going to be? Mm. Yeah, that's what they all say. Just know that one screw up for you means a lot of overtime and sleepless nights for me and my team. So any precautions you can take will be greatly appreciated. Interesting. I guess they do a lot of cover up stories from the work I'm about to embark on. Coffee, finally. Well, let's have a look at you. 
I'm over here. <laughs> Sounds like something my son would say. And no, I don't mean that as a compliment. <laughs> I'm Alexis Price, head of the legal department here, and I'll be direct. Any legal troubles you cause as an operative, witnesses getting arrested, are my troubles. So steer clear of law enforcement. We may have connections with Administrator Bayou and the Free Star Rangers, but they aren't the ones I prefer to abuse. Good. Then we should get along just fine. Oh shit. I didn't mean to crouch. I thought I took someone from him. <laughs> so, fetching coffee one minute, and junior operative the next. Camden Cho, supply chain manager for Ryuja. <laughs> we won't work together much, but as part of the same department, hopefully I'll be seeing you around. Ah, oh, so she remembered. Not that I expect much out of Terra Brew Coffee, but hey, I suspected their grinder was on its last leg. Anyway, welcome to the team. Oh, and just a heads up, people in your position don't typically see the brighter side of Ryujin Industries. But rest assured, this is a great company, and the work we do goes toward benefiting millions. No, <laughs> I wasn't trying to do that. <laughs> Sometimes it takes uh, drastic measures to ensure we can deliver the best products possible. Of course, you'll be forming your own opinions as you go. Just keep an open mind. Oh, and thanks for the coffee. Well, at least he's nice. Okay. So I met the goon squad. I hope you enjoyed your little meet and greet. Yeah. I thought you'd like to know the execs who you'll be impacting while on the job. That doesn't surprise me. Now that you've met a few of the execs, let's get you started. We have reason to believe that our friends at Keltcorp are trying to hack into our R&D server, since we're both competing for a contract right now. <sighs> Hardly. This is the standard run-of-the-mill tactic we've come to expect from them. We can't allow them to win the contract, nor can we allow the action to go unpunished. I'll be giving you a data slate with a file that you'll need to upload through one of their computers. Remember, this is confidential. We can't have anyone at Keltcorp getting suspicious. When all is said and done, it should be as if you were never there. Here's the data slate. Good luck. What is it? You tell me. You're interrupting me. Is this time accounted for? I doubt that. I check my schedule regularly, and this conversation was not on the budget. If time is money, then suffice to say Ms. Serrano would not be pleased with such a frivolous expenditure. I opened a can of worms. <laughs> Hold on. I didn't say we should stop. I thought I wasn't in the budget. And since you clearly have bandwidth to spare, maybe you can help me clean up a um, minor indiscretion. Ooh, the side side quest. Good. Let me give you some background. Recently, I've been assisting the impoverished in both Ebside and the Underbelly. I pay for the occasional meal, clinic visit, or comfort. But I may have lost a slate in the process. I need you to locate and retrieve it for me. Then we have an agreement. Good. Go to the underbelly and talk to the panhandler, Huang. Discarded items are her specialty. So she may have come across the slate herself. If you can manage to find it, bring it back to me. 
and I will pay you for the time. As you were. Cool. <laughs> the uh, video I edited today, this is where it was took place at. Nothing to see here, folks. I was never here. Imogene's well, look who survived their first assignment. How'd it go? Anything to report? It's anxiety inducing. A fair question. We may have plenty of eyes and ears out there, but I'm still going to need an answer. Not a single setback. <laughs> I knew you were going to be perfect for this job. If you recall, setbacks mean a lot of things for a lot of people. Payoffs, cover stories, cleanup crews. You get my drift. Exactly. In the meantime, I'll make sure that slate is properly disposed of. So, now that we know you're capable of handling some light cyber mischief, let's try your hand at a little uh, framing.